Hello guys, can you hear me? ¿Me pueden escuchar? Or not at all. Hello teacher, yes. Hello, hello. Thank you so much. Just, creo que esto. Vamos a ver si funciona juntos. Okay. Okay, so I think you can see me. Give me a moment. Vamos a ver. Veamos qué pasa con esa camarita. Deme un segundito. Can you see me? Yes, right. Hoy sí me pueden ver. ¿Y me escuchan bien al mismo tiempo? Ok. Yes, please. Thank you, yes, Carol. Teacher. Thank you, thank you, guys. So we're going to start working here together. Yesterday we were talking about the past tense. Yes. Right. We were talking about affirmatives, affirmative sentences. We talk about regulars and irregular verbs. So can you tell me what you remember, Vladimir, for the past tense? One thing that you remember from yesterday's class, what is it? The, the past tense is used to uh, mention to activities are concrete in even in the past. Okay, very good. It's to mention activities that are made in the past. There are two regular and irregular verbs. Okay, and in what the, else? In the regular verbs, uh, Add in some verbs, D, A, D, y another rulers. Another rule. Mm -hmm. For example, when uh, the verb ending in Y mm -hmm. is I, E, D. I, E, D. Okay. I, E, D. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Very good. Remember, it goes with. Um, Consonant plus Y, right? Consonant plus Y. Yes. Very yes. well. Now, what do you remember, Emerson? Good night. Good evening, teach. Good evening. Is that the usage for the present an action or event mm -hmm. yeah, that look at place in the past with the many verbs? Okay, what else? What, can, what else can you tell me? Can you give me an example? Okay, for example. For example, in the, the she, she, she read the last book or the bookseller mm -hmm. okay she read the, okay very good she read excellent thank you so much joanna what do you have in mind what do you remember any new vocabulary yes teacher mm -hmm. uh, and they use the past and irregular verbs Mm -hmm. uh, three rules is add uh, uh, D, ID, and change the letter for I, I, ID. For IED, okay. IED, I, excellent. Very good, very good. So we have a lot of information from yesterday's class. I appreciate guys that you pay attention to it, right? So right now, I just want to make a quick exercise with you, right? So we can work together. Just let me show it here for you. 
Give me a sec. One moment is loading. And we're going to also work in the book, of course, right? That's something that we must do. But first, I would like you to check right now some, like a small exercise with the past simple, okay? Okay, let me put it here. I want you to look at my computer right now. We're going to try to put here and just choose, right? Some of the verse that, we, that I'm going to show you, this is a complete list of verse, right? But I want you to try to make sentences, affirmative sentences with these irregular verbs, right? These are going to be irregular verbs. So let me show it to you. Because yesterday we practiced with irregular, with regulars. So today is with irregulars. Let me show it to you. Can you see where it says grammar reference? Yes. Okay. We have a lot of verbs right here, right? So what we're going to do right now is that we are going to select three out of this whole list. Okay, you are going to select three verbs. We have be, become, begin, buy, to blow, etc., etc. I uh, will send it to you, no worries, right? We have a lot of verbs. I need you to choose three, and you're going to make two sentences, right? Well, three sentences using those verbs. For example, I'm going to choose mine right here. Mm, I think I'm going to choose the verb hmm, do. So, past tense of do, right? We're going to look for past tense of do, right? We can put on Google, right? Past tense of and the verb. But I, in this case, I remember the past tense. Of, well, I'm going to choose this. My sister did her homework last night. One sentence, right? This is my example number one. I'm going to choose another verb, let's see. Oh, I'm going to choose the verb say, right? Number two, right? I said, uh, beautiful things about the romantic movie, right? I said, then we're gonna go with number three. I'm going to choose the verb. Uh, I'm going to choose feed, right? With feed, my husband, fed our dogs last week. 
right? Now it's my turn. I have my examples here, right? I have three sentences. All of them are positive or affirmative sentences, right? They are affirmative. Now let's start, choose three verbs. You can choose any verb from the list, right? And try to make your examples. Once you make your examples, please put them in the chat. Put the examples in the chat so I can check your writing. Let's start, please. Do you understand what we're doing? Yes? No? Yes, miss. Yes. Okay, let's do it. Three sentences only. Let me know whenever you're done. You can put your examples in the chat, please. Remember to use the dictionary links that I sent you, right? So you can have access to it. Okay, I'm reading your examples right now. What are your suggestions? Vladimir, excellent job. Remember one thing that you, you need to always do, right? And thank you so much, Vladimir and Tatiana. These are simple sentences, right? Oraciones simples que se nota que no están traducidas, okay? No traduzcan oraciones en Google. Háganlas como ustedes puedan. No importa si se equivoquen. Cuando ustedes traducen una oración de Google aquí, yo, yo sé que está traducida. ¿Ok? So, please don't do that. Ok. Now, your sentence, Eugenia, is perfect. But it's in present. I need a sentence in, in past.
Okay. What is the past tense of forget, Emerson? Look at what Janita wrote for forget. Forgot. Yes, I forgot to do my homework yesterday. Very good, Janina. Pablo thought to make a, per, a paper airplane. A paper airplane. Hey, nice. She made red velvet cake or red velvet. dessert okay very good tatiana you just need to put i i the word i i is always in capital letters okay always 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 I traveled the way back to home last night. My daughter brought my favorite class yesterday. He, he swam very fast in the last video. The scissor cut on paper. Okay. Eugenia, try to make the sentences in past. Subject verb complement. Because it's, it says the scissor cut on paper book. What is the scissor? What is the meaning of scissor? What is a scissor? Tijeras. The tijeras. Eh. Scissors, okay. Scissors. Okay, but the scissors don't cut anything. You use the scissors. Right. I cut the paper with a pair of scissors. The scissors don't do anything. They are just uh, an object. My husband, some beautiful son. This is my money at the casino. Very good, Joanna. Very good. My mother bought medicine for my grandmother. Excellent, Elena. Capital letters at the beginning. My. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay. Now we're going to continue. Yesterday we said that we were going to do the other part of the simple pass, right? But before we do that, let's call attendance. Antes que continuemos, vamos a pasar asistencia, okay? Give me a sec. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Diaz. Present. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos Alvarez. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present. Elena Present. Guadalupe Andrade. Present. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present, Miss. Francisco Sánchez López. Present, Miss. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Cast eh, Castro. Imelda. Eh, Jacqueline Vanessa Parrilla García. Joana Lisbeth Eunice Alfaro de Canales. Present teacher. José Alexander Hernández Carvajal. José Bernardo López Montes. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Eugenia Hernández Sotelo. Present teacher. Carol Elizabeth Escalante Enríquez. Present. Luis Javier Castillo. Manuel Alfredo Hernández Ventura. Oscar Noé Magaña Martínez. Present teacher. Sara Vigaí López Portillo. Present teacher. Tatiana Ivonne Torres Beltrán. Present Miss. Wendy Marlene Martínez Sánchez. Yanira del Carmen Gutiérrez. Present teacher. Pablo Alberto Abrego Vázquez. Ok. 
So, did I mention everyone? Los mencioné a todos y todas. Es Pablo de Alberto. Present Pablo, Pablo Abrego. Ok, give me a moment. Pam, pam, pam. Pa, 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 pa. Thank you, Pablo. Ok, ¿no me hizo falta nadie? No? Ok. So, let's continue. Right. We're going to do, yesterday we worked with the affirmative forms, right? How we write affirmative sentences in simple past, right? Simple past. Now, today we are going to work, right, with negative sentences, right? And we're going to work with negatives. And one thing that we use with negative, it's very important, is to use the auxiliary did. Right. This auxiliary, it's perfect. That's what we need to do, right? And we're going to make a negative saying did not, did not, or didn't, right? which is the contracted form. Negative, did not, or didn't. So what we're going to do here is that we have our, uh, pretty much our subject. plus did plus verb in base form plus complement. And that's all we need to make a negative sentence, right? I'm gonna put here, just give me a moment. This is our example, right? Subject plus did not plus the verb in base form, right? Plus the complement. Now, once we have this, we can say, for example, right? Uh, Amalia, Amalia did not eat the vegetables. Amalia did not eat the vegetables. Subject, Amalia, right? Then we have the not. The main verb is eat, and our complement will be the vegetables, right? That will be our structure, right? Subject, did not, plus the verb, and this. I want you to pay attention here to the verb. The verb does not have any changes, right? That's something that you always need to see. Now, teacher, but it is irregular. It should be eight. Uh -uh. Why? Because my auxiliary is telling me, Sylvia, that's simple pass, right? So every time you have the auxiliary, you say, okay, that's simple pass, right? Now, it, this is structure, right? This is structure can also work when we have um, plural forms. The students didn't do their homework. Mm, Gustavo didn't uh, read the book. We have plurals, we have singular forms, and the structure is going to be the same. Are we clear with this explanation? Do you have questions? Questions right now? Please look at the examples. Ask questions, please. Hagan preguntas, si puedes, por favor. Is it clear? Yes, miss. Yes, okay. What if I... Uy, qué montón de oyentes, niña. Que me amame. Santo Padre. Wendy está oyente. Francisco, sí. Daisy... Y 7614, no sé, tiene unos headsets, no sé quién es. Pablo igual. ¿Qué es 7614? ¿Alguien sabe? 
76, 14, 26, 22. Bueno, no me parece el nombre. Creo que es un fantasma. Right. No, porque ¿qué? Soy José. Ah, ahí sí, Potón. Ok, so that's José Alexander. So we're going to have many oyentes today. Los oyentes, cuando nos vayamos a practicar, por favor, se unen a los equipos para que estén de oyentes en los equipos aquí también. Now, we have this example. Can you give me some examples right now with negative forms? I'm going to say, um, Juanito went to the park with his parents. Juanito went to the park with his parents last weekend. What is the negative form? Juanito or Juanito, whatever you want. Right. Juanito went to the park with his parents last weekend. Negative? Juanito didn't go. Yay, that's right. Compliment, I don't remember. <gasps> Santo Padre. Okay, very good. Don't worry, don't worry. But you remember the verb. That's what matters right now, right? Uh, another sentence. Let's see here. Shakira. Shakira visited. Shakira visited Miami last month. Shakira visited Miami last month. Yes, Eugenia? Oh, let me. Shakira did, did not visit Miami last month. Last month. Very good. Did not or didn't, right? Very good, Carla. Um, let's go with another example. Um, da, 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 da. Let's see. Henry's, uh, Henry's dog ate a lot of chicken and rice. Henry's dog ate a lot of chicken and rice. Ese niño siempre me asusta, fíjese. A ustedes no les asusta ese niño que sale ahí. De repente saca la cabeza. No miren películas de miedo. Por eso asusta. No. Usted no la ha visto y se queda así, después salta. Ok. So, Henry's dog ate a lot of chicken and rice will be negative. Negative form? Mm -hmm. Henry didn't. Henry's dog. Henry's dog, like woof, woof. Right, Henry's dog didn't eat, right, chicken and rice, didn't eat. Now, I want you to, right now, right, we have here the negative form. I think we're gonna make these examples with a little bit bigger. Right? These are these are the negative forms, right? That we're gonna have. We have the verb, which we need to pay attention to. Now we're going to do right now, right, in our example, the questions, okay? For the questions that we are going to make, it's pretty simple, questions in past. Now, for the questions in past, we are going to have two types of questions. 
going to have yes, no questions, and we're going to have WH questions. For the yes, no questions with the structure, it's pretty simple, right? We're gonna use our auxiliary did at the beginning, plus subject, plus verb, plus complement, and the question mark, right? We can say, did Amalia eat the vegetables? Did Amalia eat the vegetables? Oh, no, she didn't. Who is it? Yes, she did. Right? If you look at this, the way we answered our questions is going to be with the auxiliary. We're going to use the auxiliary at the beginning. We pay attention to the question mark. The verb stays in the base form, right? And we answer like this. So I can I can ask you right now, Joanna, did you go to the concert last week? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Perfect. Bernardo, did you pay the electricity bill? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Perfect. Simple as that, right? We just say yes or no. And if, we, if you want to be grammatically correct, then we use the auxiliary did. Now, when we want to make here, let me just put it with another color, right? When we want to make our WH questions, pretty much is the same, but we just need to put a WH word plus did plus ver plus complement. If it is, right, if it is an object question, right? So you can say, um, did Amalia eat the vegetables? Oh, no, she didn't. Okay, very good. Yes, she did. She ate the vegetables, right? Why did Amalia eat the vegetables? Why did Amalia eat the vegetables, Vladimir? What do you think is going to be our answer here? Why did Amalia eat the vegetables? Mm -hmm. We're paying attention to this. What's the answer that I should give? Nothing? Nada? Because. Because. Excellent. We need a reason. Very good. Oh, Amalia. We're going to put here our small answer. Right. Amalia ate the vegetables because she was hungry. Right, because she was hungry. Everything in this sentence is in the past, right? Everything in this sentence is in the past. So we make sure that since it is affirmative and we're giving a reason, right? We're saying here why, then we use the word because. This is the answer that we need. Why? Because she was hungry. The rest of the sentence is for us to practice, right? En la vida real no vamos a ir repitiendo lo mismo, lo mismo, lo mismo. Aquí solo queremos entender por qué se va a decir así, okay? So, just pay attention. Bien podemos decir en una conversación, ah, because she was hungry. No tenemos que decir, oh, Amalia did the blah, 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 because she was hungry, right? So, let's just focus on that too. Now, do you understand the WH words? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, that's perfect to me. Now, let me just put here, these are object questions, okay? These are object questions, so it's right here, right? Give me a moment. Mm -hmm. 
These are object questions. Now let's go ahead and work with subject questions. What are subject questions, right? In the subject questions, we need the subject. That's, our, that's going to be our answer. And I want you to pay attention to this, okay? The structure is going to be almost the same. We're going to have here the WH word plus the subject, oh, sorry, the WH word plus the verb plus the complement. Teacher and the subject, right? And the subject, we don't, we don't have a subject because that's the question. That's what we want to know. So we have WH word, verb, complement. <gasps> Where is my subject, right? We don't know. So we're gonna put here, right? Who ate my or who ate the vegetables? Who ate the vegetables? Look at this. The verb, when we have a subject question, right? In this case, it's going to be in past, right? Who ate the vegetables? What is the answer here? Who ate the vegetables? Who ate the vegetables? Carla ate the vegetables. Carla ate the vegetables. Okay, very good. That it's perfect. Carla. Carla Eugenia, no. Carla ate the vegetables. Right? Now, when we answer this, right? When we answer this and we have our example here, right? You see, let me put it on this part. Give me a moment. I'll choose this color. And we have a WH word, right? And what we're looking for right now is who? Who? And the answer in who is going to be Carla, right? Not the rest, right? But we're just focusing here. Now, if you pay attention, when we ask an object question, our answer is after the verb. When we ask a subject question, the answer is before the verb. Right? Do you see that? When we ask an object question, the answer is after the verb. With a subject question, we want to know the subject. So it's before the verb, right? So that's what we have there. Do you have questions right now about this exercise? or this explanation, please ask questions if you need to. No questions. Mm -hmm. Look at those examples, please. And I want you to tell me if you understand or if you don't. Teacher. Yes, Carla. Solo con why vamos a tener el verbo en presente. Y con los demás WH va a ser en. No, not only with why. It's going to be with why, where, when, uh, which. Those are WH words. Why is an example. Right. With subject, remember the word that we use for subject is who. Right. Uh, I did and different. A verb. 
Porque we did Amalia eat. El otro es who ate. The vegetable. Uh -huh. The vegetable. And here we need to put it in past. Exactly. Here, yes. Because here we, what is the word that we don't have? We don't have did, right? Since we don't have did, the verb must be in past. So we can make our questions, right? Okay. Now, one thing that you need to remember, please pay attention, right? So this is very important. You are going to use did, use it for negative sentences, negative sentences, use it for questions, and short answers. This is the use of did. Teacher, but I want to make a positive sentence with did. Uh-uh, you can't. Right? It's not possible. We're gonna, oops. We're gonna use it only with negative sentences, questions, and short answers. Is that clear, you guys? Yes, miss. Yes. Okay, very well then, right? Now we're going to make some examples because that's what we're doing right now, right? We are going to work with some questions that I have for you, right? In our book, just give me a moment. Can you see the book right now? Yes, miss. Yes, okay. Now, with the book right now, right here we have the simple past. It says that we're going to write the sentences with the word provided, right? Using past B or simple past, which is same, right? So here we have I be interested product. Hmm, I, I, what is the past tense of B? Was. Was. I was interested in the new product. I was interested in the new product. I have my first example, right? So what we're going to do right now is just to make sentences using the simple past and the vocabulary that is given here. You buy the item in December, she read the policies, supervisor gave me discount they send he be okay so let's start let's make our sentences let's do this individual work okay pretty easy let's do it
Did you finish? No yet? No? Okay. Are you done? Hello? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. Yes, Thank you, for Bernardo. Bernard, tiene cara de Fernando, please. Okay, Bernardo Emerson. Thank you so much. Now, let's go ahead and see, okay? Uh, number two, Bernardo, what do you got? You bought the last item on December. Okay, you bought... The last item on December. Very good. Thank you. It's going to be December. Wow. Okay, good. Thank you, Bernardo. Emerson, number three. He read the polishes. He or she? She. She read. She read the policies. Okay. The policies from where? What place? The policies are like the rules. The rules from where? From the house, from a company. In the company? The, okay, she read the company's policy. Very good, company's policies. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, Sarah and Emerson. Sarah, you got number four? En ese estoy, teacher. Ok, ok, ok. Who has number four? The, the super, supervisor gave me 
the, the, the cheer at discount. Gave me? Gave me the cheer at discount. Okay. Gave me a discount. Gave me a discount on the t-shirt. Okay. T-shirt. Very good, Carla. Excellent job. Thank you. Who has number five? Supervisor, Carla. Supervisor. Supervisor. Right. Okay. Carlos Vladimir, I saw you open your mic. If I they send me the word the word contract to my email. Okay. They sent me the work contract by email. Okay, we can change it a little bit. Yes. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And number six. Number six. Number six. He was disappointed. He was disappointed, okay. Number four is game, no game. Give me a moment. Uh, uh, da, da. Okay, Gabe, thank you. And number five, you said he was disappointed. He was disappointed. About what? He was disappointed about, about what? You know, disappointed is like, Oh my goodness, I do everything, but life is difficult. What could you be disappointed about? Have you ever been disappointed? He was disappointed about, let's give more context. Last quality. About the, the last quality, okay. Very good, excellent. Now you could be disappointed about something. Excellent job. We have examples here, very good. Right. If you have any example that you would like to give, it's your time. If not, we continue. Right. Yes. We're going to continue here with a short conversation. Right. But well, let's do this in a moment. OK, let's do this in a moment. What we're going to do right now, it's these negative examples. OK, we're going to use the example here. It says, I am satisfied with my luck up right we're going to put it this is in present we're going to make the sentence into past right i am satisfied with my laptop what am i going to say here in past but negative i wasn't satisfied with my laptop I wasn't satisfied with my laptop. What's going to be number two? Three, four, five. Look at here, right? We're putting this, this, this. Dun, dun, dun. These are the verbs that we're going to pay attention to and make them in past but negative. Aha, uh -huh, negative. So let's do that right now, individually. Again, individually. Let's do it. Welcome, everyone. My name is Fabian.
Please let me know whenever you're ready. I'm ready. Thank you, Bernardo. Ready, teacher. Excellent, Joanna. Ready, teacher. Very good. Carol, Sara, Elena. Franco, Jacqueline. No, not yet. No. Okay. Ready. No. Finish, very good. Two more minutes so we can continue, okay? Finish me. Okay. We're going to do uh, well, these exercises and then we're gonna move to another type of exercises so we can practice more, right? So it's important for us to do that as well. Now, let me just go ahead. Okay, so what do you have right now, Carol, for number two? Martha, write sentence, letter to the boss. Okay, perfect. What is the answer? The answer, no, it's a no, no, no. What is the past tense? What do we use for past tense, Carol? Uh, wasn't. Yes, yes. No, she, past no. tense in negative. That's what we're doing. Look at the example. In the example, we have, I am satisfied with my laptop. This is affirmative sentence, right? We may, we convert that sentence into negative. This is, this is affirmative. This is negative. Now, this is affirmative. What is the negative? Quartensent. Uh, war, Walter sent. Walter. Right, writer sent. Write it in the chat. No, that is incorrect. Mm -hmm. That is incorrect. I want you to tell me, Carol, what is the auxiliary that we use for negative sentences in past? What is did. the auxiliary? Did, did. exactly. Did. Okay, okay. Okay, so what is the negative form? Um, Sería Marta did, uh -huh. Marta did eh, Mar write a letter uh -huh. to her boss. Okay, Marta did write a letter to her boss. Okay. I okay. no remember the auxiliary. Ah, now but you did. She Sorry. said so. Okay, but what is after did? Did, negative, did? Didn't. Didn't, exactly. Very good. Marta didn't write a letter to her boss. Thank you so much, Carol. Excellent job. Very good. 
Thank you. Now, let's go with number three. Who has number three? Mm -hmm. Yes, Eugenia? We, we, uh, well, we are so happy with the food service. Mm -hmm. Negative? We, we weren't so happy with the food service. Very good. So happy with the food service. Okay, there we are. Perfect job. Thank you so much, Eugenia. Now, who wants to do number four? Pedro and me didn't drive to the company. Okay. Pedro and me didn't drive to the company. Okay. Now, we're going to make a change, okay? Este es error del libro, así que quiero que hagan algo por mí. I put Pedro and I. Pedro and I. Okay. Pedro and I didn't drive to the company. Todos cambianlo, por favor. Pedro and I didn't drive to the company. Excellent. Uh, Jose, who has number five? Do you have number five, Oscar Noé? I mm -hmm. principal send many emails mm -hmm. yesterday. The principal didn't didn't send any email yesterday. Yesterday. Thank you. Thank you. And the last one. Who has the last one there? Joanna? The, the program was not, was not, is too slow. Was oh. not, is too slow. Okay, now. Was not too slow, perdón. Okay, there you are. Preguntarle, Eva. Okay, very good. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Was not too slow. No, it's okay. Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. Now, we have there our examples, right? Very good job. Now, this is affirmative and negatives. We already know how to make questions, right? We use did to make questions. We use did to make negative sentence. We use did to give short answers. So now it comes my second exercise right now, which is, well, it's related to a conversation, okay? It's about conversation, but this time we are going to work together with the conversation. So I want you to look at my computer right now. And you are, well, no, let me send it to you in this case. I will send it to you so you can have it. Give me a moment. Dun, 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 dun. Give me a second, give me a second. Okay. Okay, one sec. Okay, I just sent you a set of questions, okay, to your WhatsApp. So you can have it available there. These are the questions that we are going to answer. We are going to work in groups right now, but I want you to focus mostly on speaking. Okay, yes, you're going to answer the questions, it's okay. But what I want you to do right now is to try to think of the possible answer to these questions, okay? It's not going to be a conversation right now. It's going to be a practice in your group. For example, we can start, I'm working with Sarah. 
with Carol and Jose, so we say, okay, Jose, hey, uh, did you do any exercise last week? Um, yes, I did. Okay, nice. Me too, Jose. What kind of exercise did you do? Running. What? Roller. Running. <gasps> Rolling. Wow, that's dangerous. That's dangerous. Thank you, Jose. I did, in my case, I, I did some Zumba, right? Okay. That's the exercise I did. Now, if Alexander wants to ask me more questions, it's okay. If not, he can continue with a different question from the list, okay? So we can have a spontaneous conversation. These are just the guide to, for us to start. I can go like, um, what did you do yesterday, Carlos Vladimir? What did you do yesterday? I just, I, yesterday, I did to sleep. I did to sleep. Hmm. I did sleep. Mm -hmm. What did you do yesterday? Remember when we asked, what did you do yesterday? Uh-huh. I slept. I slept every day. All day? Yes. Why? Why did you sleep all day? Uh, because uh, I don't work. Why don't and you work? I have, I have a, a medical... Uh, how do you say? Incapacidad? Incapacidad? Medical leave? Medical leave. Escriba lo que ya le había dicho. Medical leave. Sí, medical leave. <ríe> ok, medical leave. Ok, why, why did the doctor give you a medical leave? A uh, surgery. surgery. For a surgery. Oh, yes. what, ha what happened to you? Do you see? No tiene que responder. <ríe> so we have a conversation right now. Right? That's what I want you to do. Teacher, pero yo no puedo hacer las conversaciones como usted las hace. No importa. Usted vaya a tratar de conversar. Tal vez yo digo, ah, eh, I, because of a cirugía. Estoy en mi grupo y José dice, oh, Carlos, cirugía is surgery. Right? Surgery, yes. Nosotros aquí tal vez no sabemos que el otro compañero sabe una palabra que nosotros no conocemos. O algo que se nos olvide. Right? Entonces, por eso vamos a trabajar en equipo. ¿Se entiende lo que vamos a hacer? Yes. No vamos a escribir nada. Vamos a ir a platicar un poquito. Ok. So, let's get to work. Recuérdense los chicos del, de que están de oyentes. Right? Unirse a cada uno de los equipos. Just let me go ahead and check. Ok. No se desconecten, por Dios bendito. Siempre hacen lo mismo, señoritos. Francisco, ¿está de oyente? ¿Manuel está de oyente? No, te echo. No, ok, eso. Jacqueline, ¿está de oyente? Sí, teacher. ¿Elena, está de oyente? No. Ok, perfecto. Wendy sí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. so we have, uh -huh. Oscar no. Muy bien. Okay, there we are. Let's go. We're going to talk about whole B to break as you both to break. Huh? Okay, okay. Let's get to work. Let's get to work. Let's get to work. Oscar, Emerson, Carol, join the groups. Ya creo los grupos, teacher. Sorry. Yes. 
¿No le apareció la, 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 la invitación? Oscar. Oscar, ¿no le apareció la invitación? Proyecten las preguntas, por favor, en la pantalla para que tengan mayor flexibilidad. So, please do that. What time? Number, uh -huh, number two. Um, I went to bed at 10 p.m. yesterday. Okay. Carl, eh, Carlos. Dale preguntando a Bernardo. Ah, ok, Bernardo. Why did uh, you go uh, to bed at 10 p.m.? Si él, él, si él le da una información, usted uh -huh. explota esa información. Ok. He said, I went to bed at 10 p.m. It's ok. Why did you go to bed at 10 p.m.? It's so early. Right? You can ask more questions. After English class. After the English class. Wow. I went to bed at 1, 1 a.m., I guess. Yeah. Okay, after the English class. Very good. Pero traten de seguir la conversación. Estas preguntitas nos van a servir para com comenzar la conversación con alguien. Como ah, okay. icebreaker. Okay? Vamos a seguir. Okay. okay. Perfect. Okay. Chini, lo sigo escuchando. Vamos. Ustedes solitos. <laughs> Ok, Bernardo, este, no sé si igual usted va a preguntar algo, ¿ok? Uh, yo. Carlos, did you do homework yesterday? No, I, I didn't. Why didn't you do homework yesterday? Because I have a medical leave. Did you what happened to you? I didn't have surgery in the arm because I have a Trombo oh. in my left arm. Okay. Yanira, did you get a haircut last month? Es la penul. Uh, uh, is this um ¿Qué es haircut? Corte de cabello. Ah, corte de cabello. Ok, thank you. Es, um, no, I know I know didn't haircut last month. No, I didn't. And why didn't you get a haircut? I, I usually is a uh, Cabello largo, how do you say cabello largo? Long hair. Long hair. Long hair, uh -huh. I usually, um, uh, long hair. Uh, I, I like, I like is the... Um... The husband. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Eh, Bernardo, eh, did you watch TV yesterday? No, I didn't. Eh, what did you watch? No, I, I did not watch. Ah, I did. ah okay, okay, sorry. Why? Why not? I worked uh, 
I have work late. Okay. Okay, uh, Janira, uh, how much money did you spend yesterday? Money uh, spent yesterday. Um, yes. Money, uh, how much? Uh, how much money did you spend yesterday? Um, spend. Solo vimos que desapareció. La mandé al equipo correcto. Sí, el otro no hablaba antes. <laughs> okay, perfect, perfect. ¿En cuál estaban? Aquí. Imelda, creo que era y otra niña. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you. Ya vamos a ver qué pasa ahí con sus hipotes. Thank you. Okay. Did you do I, I, an exercise I, last week? I didn't. Uh, well, it's, I, well, it's yes. Uh, uh, I did. Uh, because... Uh, exercise uh, kind of uh, uh, o sea, como dice cardiovascular o algo así. No se refiere a ese tipo de ejercicios también. ¿Qué, le entiende? ¿Qué, le, qué es lo que le entiendes ahí? A eso? Porque me entiendo, entiendo que estás preguntando de que si he hecho alguna, algún ejercicio, <coughs> si he hecho algún ejercicio la semana pasada, ¿verdad? Sí, la, la pregunta es uh, si has hecho ejercicio la, la última semana. Ajá, pero me imagino que se refiere a ejercicio físico, a no a los ejercicios que hacemos de tarea para el Congo. Entonces, la respuesta sería, I, I did. En el caso que sea afirmativo, como dice aquí, ¿verdad? Ajá. I did. What kind is... Es, 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 tipo? Ajá, es, no sé cómo dice, como cardiovascular, es como salir running. Enough running. Bueno, sigamos con la otra entonces. Yo la voy a, se la voy a decir ahora a, a Caro. I read, I read a book name. Run, run. About that? About that in the book. Por qué el libro? Why that book? Ah, uh, my cousin recommend, recommended to me, and it was very nice. Okay. And other people to, you know, otra persona que va a hacer las preguntas. ¿Qué las hago yo? Okay. Y vamos uh, a ver. Uh, were, were you happy yesterday, Vladimir? Yes. I was happy yesterday. I este I uh, why um why uh, uh, because I slept every day. Okay. <laughs> Eli. <laughs> okay. Um, Bernardo. Um, were you bus yesterday? Busy. Busy. Uh, no? Yes, I was very busy yesterday. Okay. Quite. I was over checking. Uh, Checking the load of a container to the United States. Okay. This uh, uh, mm, uh, 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 logistic. Working logistic. Are you um, working logistic? No. I was. I am. Call it inspector, but I am in charge of 
checking the logistic too. Okay. Nice. Uh, Janira, okay. were you tired this morning? To tire. Tired. Cansada. Excuse me? Cansada. La última. Okay. Uh, this morning. Yes. Very, very, very. Very is the tired. Why? As uh, my my work is um uh, hard, very hard, and as um in, in ultimas ultima semana. How do you say ultima semana? Last week. Last week. Okay. Did you sleep last night? Is la is sleep um three three hours three hours three hours very very tired very very tired why did you sleep three hours yes why I ah is um uh, I I work I work I working very tired. Uh, it's um, it's uh, tengo dos trabajos, ¿cómo puedo decir? I to, I to work. I have to work. I have to work, uh-huh. In, in, yeah, I take, I take, uh, ¿cómo es? Driver. Taxi driver. Yes. Oh. Good. <laughs> it's very, 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 very tight. Yes. Uh, no sé, vamos a preguntarle a Vladimir. Did you eat at a restaurant restaurant last week? No, I didn't. Why not? Because I don't have money to eat <laughs> last month. Ah, okay. <laughs> we are you say we are poor. Somos pobres. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor, is poor or poor? Poor. Okay. Another no question. Ah. Uh, Did you watch TV yesterday, Yanni? I I I I don't. I don't watch TV. I did. No, I I not I know time. Huh? I know have time. Okay. Oh, vamos. Bueno, vamos. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> you. Bye. Ciao. Bye. Okay, so we're going to continue here with the with the practice. I heard all of the groups. Let's start with Janira and Carlos. Give us some kind of like a start with this. You can ask any questions, right? We just want to listen to you, okay? So let's start. You were together, right? Janira and Carlos? Yes, okay, very good. Thank you. Yanira, uh, what did you do yesterday? 
I I did yesterday. I working. Okay. In June. Uh, I slept every day. Okay. Very nice. Because I have a, a medical leave. Okay. Yes. Uh, did you watch TV yesterday? Uh, I not watch TV yesterday. I, I don't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't watch TV yesterday. Why? Uh, why is um, I I have I had no time. Okay. Uh, You know, the, the, did you do homework yesterday? Yes, I I I I I do homework did. yesterday. I did. Okay. okay. Perfect. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you, Yanira. Yanira, you need to practice more the past. Okay. Okay. Did you watch TV? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Right, the use of do or don't is for simple present. Right, we're working with simple past. Very good, uh, Janira. Very good, Carlos. Janira, choose another person. Uh, um, Franco, Frank, Franco. Okay, Franco, who work with you, Franco? Oh, con los compañeros que estuvimos ahí, lo vamos a practicar. Ok. Que no tengo yo de todas formas cómo compartir la pantalla, no tengo la. It's fine. Ok, let's start. Este. Inmerso. Será el otro. Hello. Voy a hacer el otro. Vamos a ver. Eh. Yeah. Did you do, did you do homework yesterday? Yes, I did. Uh, what kind? I did uh, English homework to my in in on the platform. And you, what did you have at the breakfast this morning? I did, I did, oh, breakfast. I did A uh, with, with bread. Nice. Something coffee. I did eat. Uh, only, only as egg with with bread and coffee. It's great. Do how 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 do you eat uh, this this morning? I did. Um... Expanded teams and the toast, and so on. The milk. Uh, how much money did you spend yesterday? I uh, I did spend uh, five five dollars. What did you buy? I buy the uh, the food and. Uh, and the uh, candles. Finished. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. Very good. Thank you so much. Así vamos a ir trabajando. Así se nos va a ir quitando la pena. Okay. Very good job. Todos están haciendo un muy buen trabajo. No se preocupen. Right. Remember, this is practice. Right. Practice. Uh, another group. 
Franco, choose another person. Okay, we have um, we have Eugenia, we have Sara, Carol, Jose, Elena. Jose, Jose, sorry. Jose, Jose Alexander. Go, Jose Alexander. Okay. Um, Joanna. Uh, okay. <laughs> How much money did you spend yesterday? I spent mm, twenty dollars. Mm -hmm. What did you buy? I bought a um, uh, wait a minute, no, cookies and coffee for the meeting. Uh, Jose, uh, did you watch TV yesterday? Yes, I did. Uh, what did you watch? Watch. Mm. Watch. The Lords. Jose, what did you watch? I watched The Lord of the Rings. Okay. Okay. Only teacher. <laughs> just that, just that. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Choose the last group. I think it's only Elena, Alfredo, and Bernardo, right? Were you in the same group? No? Yes? Okay, Bernardo, go with your group. Uh, I was with Carlos. <laughs> ah, okay, okay, okay. And Elena, were you with them too? Uh, with the Eugenia. Okay, let's go. Okay. Did you do homework yesterday? Did you how many yesterday? Yes, I did. What kid and a report and Sales balance for client. Okay. And uh, what did you do yesterday, Elena? What did you do yesterday? Mm -hmm. I did work. Work. Every day. What time did you get up this morning? I get up and four, four thirty in the morning. Um, what did you have for breakfast this morning? I did my breakfast on six thirty in my job in the cafeteria. What time did you go to the bed last night? 
Listen to what she asked. What time did you go to bed last night? Repeat. Repeat, Elena. Can please. What, what time did you go to the bed last night? Hola, go to bed. Ah, uh, I bed last night and eleven, eleven and thirty, more or less. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you, Elena. Now, Eugenia, don't forget the verbs. I went to bed. I, I went I to bed. went to bed. Yes. I I bed. No, I went to bed. All right. We need a verb after this subject, right? Everyone did great. Very good. Do I have any other volunteers before we continue? No? No volunteers. Okay. Now let me call the attendance really quick. All right. Yes, let me see. Dun dun dun. Okay, I got here Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Diaz. Present. Daisy Elizabeth Resino Alvarez. Present, teacher. Eduardo Franco Nunez. Present. Elena Guadalupe Andrade Reyes. Present. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present, miss. Francisco Sanchez López. Present, miss. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. Jacqueline Vanessa Parrilla Garcia. Joana Lisbeth Alvaro Eunice. Just Joana Lisbeth Eunice Alfaro de Canales. Present teacher. José Alexander Hernández Carvajal. Present. José Bernardo López Montes. Present teacher. Carla Eugenia Hernández, Hernández Otelo. Present teacher. Carol Elizabeth Escalante Enríquez. Present. Luis Javier Castillo. Manuel Present, Alfredo, pro. thank you. Manuel Alfredo Hernández Ventura. Present dicho. Oscar Noé Magaña Martínez. Sara Vigay López Portillo. Present teacher. Tatiana Ivón Torres de Beltrán. Wendy Marlene Martínez Sánchez. Present. Yanira del Carmen Gutiérrez. Present. Pabla de Alberto Abrego Vázquez. Thank you, Pablo. Now we're going to do our next exercise here. Dun, dun, dun. Nope, it's not this. Nope, it's not this. I think it's here. This one is going to be, right, per work, right, that we're going to complete. Now, it's going to be challenging, right? It's going to be challenging because you need to look for the mistakes, okay? What are the mistakes? We have here a paragraph, right? It says, my flight to Canada, right? Now, there are many mistakes here. How many mistakes do we have? We have 30 grammar mistakes in this, right? So what we're going to do is that you're going to apply, right, what you know, and make sure we have everything correctly. So we go here, right? And we see that it says last month is very special. No, last month was very special. I fly by myself for the first time. What is the next mistake that I can see here? I flew. Flow. Okay, flew, flew by flew. myself for the first time. The first time. So, what you're going to do, you say, okay, no, this is a mistake, right? And then we're going to put flu here, right? Flu. I flew by myself for the first time. I am a little nervous, but it is exciting. Past tense? 
I was. I was. Very good. We check. We put here was. Right? But it is exciting. Correct? Yes. No. It okay. Was. It was. was. Very was. good. It was exciting. Right? So this is what we are going to do in this moment. You are going to check right here the mistakes that we have in this paragraph. I would like you to please, let me see. Let me see if I can send it to you right now through WhatsApp so you can have it available. Give me a moment. Can you listen to the rain? No, right? Oh, yes. No, Miss. Ah, no? No. That's good. That's good. That's good. Now we're going to put here. Right. I just sent you the paragraph to your uh, WhatsApp. Right. Now we're going to try to do this practice individually. Right. Because individually is that I need you to recognize the mistakes that we all can have at the time we write in English. Okay, so let's do it. Let's start writing in here, right? Okay, let me know whenever you're done. I know this is a little bit difficult, right? But you can do it. You're very smart. Use the dictionary that I sent you, please. If you don't know the meaning of a verb. No usen el traductor, usen el diccionario que les envié. Hasta ahorita les está cayendo la imagen, ¿vale? Hoy ya lo había enviado Vladimir. Gracias, Vladimir. Mal internet.
este, tengo una pregunta, esa es la cuestión. Yes. Okay. Eh, no sé por qué se usa el, el, el ya tengo todo un poco confundido, por, el, uh -huh. por la forma del pasado, por ejemplo, si el verbo es irregular, o sea, por ejemplo, en el caso de esta línea que dice, I take a taxi to, to the international, international airport terminal, uh -huh. I take a taxi, entonces, digamos, como lo hemos estado viendo, digamos que yo digo, I did take a taxi, no. O, o ocupo, como sé que es un verbo irregular, tengo que, tengo que cambiar la forma a, a, al pasado, que sería tú. Exacto. Yes. Ok. Este, porque vimos en las pasadas, por ejemplo, en, las, en los ejemplos anteriores, vimos una que decía, o estamos ocupando el negativo con, con, con los tiempos. Vimos una que, que decía, eh, cuando decía Marta, decía, didn't, didn't write a letter to the hair boss. Entonces, pero writes también es un verbo irregular, o sea, pudo, yes. utilizar, pudo utilizarse Marta no wrote. No. Wrote. Because in the negative form, and thank you for your question, Franco, in the negative form, we always make our negatives using did. Right, so we're going to say, even though it's regular or irregular, right, we're going to use did, did not or didn't. So I can say, I didn't uh, listen, regular, I didn't listen, or I didn't eat, it is irregular, right? We cannot say, I not ate, that is incorrect grammar. Right. So to make questions, to make negative sentences, to make short answers, we always use did. But in affirmatives, for example, this one is an affirmative. First, I take a taxi to the international airport terminal. That is affirmative. So we don't use did. We use the verb in past. We say, I took a taxi. Right. So. Did I make myself clear, Eduardo? Okay. Uh, when, when I use uh, ED? With regular verbs? Regular verb. Yes. Uh, no tengo que usar el did ahí. Porque ya paso a ED. No entiendo esa parte. ¿no? Ah, and you didn't watch the class yesterday. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Right? Don't worry. Now, let me put here this, right? Okay, we have a simple pass, right? We're going to put here affirmative. We're going to put negative and we're going to put questions okay affirmative negative and questions very well now okay. here pay attention pay attention okay here we're gonna put regular and here we're going to put irregular right now what we're going to do alguien tiene el micrófono abierto por favor Thank you. Apaguen sus micrófonos. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Now, what are we going to do? Look at this, please. We have regular verb. Tell me a regular verb, Franco. Regular uh, verb. Walk. Walk, very good. Walk. Right, walk. So we're gonna put here affirmative sentence. Um, Juan walked five miles uh, last week. Right, I have my example. Let me make it smaller. Right, Juan walked five miles last week. So here, right, we have the verb walk, which is my 
past tense in affirmative form, walk, and is regular. Now we're going to take the same sentence, right? And we're going to make it negative, exactly the same sentence, right? So to make this negative, walked, what we're going to use is first, we're going didn't, to use didn't did. walk. Didn't, didn't walk. walk. Okay, but the verb is going to go back to the base form. So now this is my negative form. Didn't walk. And for the questions, I use did, right? Did Juan walk five miles last week? Ah, uh, yes, he did. No, he didn't, right? Depending on what you want to answer. No, he didn't, right? So we have there, just no question. And we use did right here to make our example, right? This is for regular verbs. Now, tell me an irregular verb, Franco. Uh, regular. Irregular. Uh, drive. Drive, very good. Uh, Kenya, draw. Her car mm, drove for the first time yesterday. Okay. Kenya draw for the first time yesterday. So we have there our verb is irregular. We have it here draw right? No ED, right? Not at all. Now we go here, we take it, right? We take our example, we copy paste it, right? And we're going to put it here with a negative form, right? Now with a negative, what we're going to do? Now draw, we need to use didn't, right? Didn't drive, drive for the first time, right? didn't drive for the first time yesterday. And we go back here, we select it, right? And we have our negative form. The question, the same. Did Kenya drive for the first time? Right? Did Kenya drive for the first time yesterday? Yes, she did, right? We got our sentence there, our question, right? Using did, right? Now, do we understand this part, Franco? Yes, I understand. Okay, very good. Did I answer your question? Yes? Donde decía la que me confundía era en la afirmativa, por ejemplo, la regular, que yo entendía, por ejemplo, crear una oración, Juan, Con esa misma que tiene ahí. Juan did walk five miles last week. Creí que era una forma correcta de hacer también esa, esa uh -huh. oración, pero hoy veo que hay que, que usar el, el. Exactly, exactly. Thank you so much. Gracias, no. gracias. Thank, Thank you. you, Franco. Thank you. No, it's 10 p.m. I'm sorry. It's 10 01. So we're going to stop right here. But today is the day four. Jose Bernardo Lopez, if you have questions, please stay, right? And if you don't have questions, let the other ones know so we can answer the questions. Now, the other ones, you can be gone. You are free. Have a beautiful night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you. Bye. See you. See you. Hi, Bernardo. Bye, Jose. Bye, Luis Javier. Hello, teacher. Hi there. Teacher, I have a question. Go ahead. Tell me. I have a question with the homework. 
Mm -hmm. um, in the midterm part four, I couldn't do the second exercise. The second exercise. Let me have access to it. Right, give me a moment. Dun, dun, dun. <clears throat> Okay, midterm, second exercise, you said, right? Yes, in the part four. Part four. Mm -hmm. The scramble, scramble sentence. A scramble sentences, okay. Let me have access to it. Section two, midterm. Okay, I'm going to share my screen. Okay. Right, so let me know if you can see it. Can you see the... Meter? Uh, yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Now we have there, Bernardo, right? Part one, part two, you said? No. No, part four. Part four, okay. Just unscramble the following sentences. Okay, second. second one. Okay, very good. So what do we need to put here? What do you put in number two? I. I wrote we wouldn't stay, we wouldn't like to stay in this place. To stay in this place, period, right? Yes. We wouldn't like to stay in this place. We wouldn't like to stay in this place. Let's check. Okay, we're gonna put, I'm just gonna put some random uh, answers. Okay, these are not the answers, just to get the answer for that one. Dun, dun, dun. We wouldn't like to stay in. I don't know if uh, it's a, uh error with the answer because in the first one I add like to what do you put in the first one you got it wrong too no I yeah. would change this I would like to change this product uh -huh. I would like to change, change this, this product. product right let me check i got 10. Mm -hmm. we wouldn't like to stay in the mm -hmm, to stay in the same place in this place Give me a moment. I'm just doing something. No. Okay, let me check the answer to see what they have here. Hmm. I'm going to show you the answers that the book is giving us, okay? And as you can see, they are supposed to be the same. Look what we wrote. We wouldn't like to stay in this place, right? And we, have, we wouldn't like to stay in this place or we wouldn't like to stay in this place. It's the same. Es lo mismo, como dice mi mamá. Es error del sistema, fíjese. Lo, ah, okay. lo voy a reportar. Bueno. Uh -huh. Lo voy a reportar porque si se fija, esa es la respuesta que, que debe dar y esa es la respuesta que el sistema. Entonces creo que es un glitch. Es ah, un bueno. errorcito que no está dando. Sí. Pero thank you for letting me know. ¿Tiene algún otro problemita por ahí? Con ese ejercicio. Me quedo, no, problemita no. De ahí me quedo duda con... Eh, lo que vimos al final sobre el, 
las preguntas objeto y las ah yes 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 esas se recuerda el módulo 3 el módulo 2 módulo 2 cuando vemos las wh questions cuando estamos viendo las wh questions bernardo right we usually go with with the common pattern right usualmente vamos así we say eh, why let's do it in pass um let's start did you go to the party right vamos a hacer una conversación did you go to the party yes i did right ahí comenzamos eso es nuestro startup now we're gonna go here when did you go to the party in this question, this is an object question. And why is it an object question, right? I went to the party uh, last night, right? Why is it an, uh, uh, an object question? First, we look for time, right? We look for time. Now, what is the time? Last night. Para entender ese tipo de preguntas, nos vamos a enfocar en el verbo, ¿ok? This is the verb, went. All the answers, all the answers that we give that are after, after the verb, like in this case, dun, 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 after the verb, this is the object of the sentence. Okay? A esta parte de la oración, Right. This part of the sentence, we're going to make it with a different color. This part of the sentence is called object. 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 Exactly. Object of the sentence. Since it is an object of the sentence, right? That's why we call it an object question. Because it's after the verb. Now, if we go here, right? Who was in the party? Who was in the party, right? Because there, who was in the party? Then we're gonna say, Bernardo was in the party. Aquí ya la estructura cambia, porque nuestro verbo, es nuestro auxiliar, nuestro verbo principal es was, right? This is the WH word, which we know is here, right? Who? But we're asking for the person, we're asking for the doer, for the performer, right? So we're asking for this person, right? Now we focus on the verb, right? We see that the verb is was, right? And now what we want is before before the verb, right? So we got it here, before. Now, what happens, oh, sorry, right. Now, this is the object, but what is this? The subject. subject, exactly. It is the subject, right? So since it is the subject of the sentence, right, we're gonna put it here, subject. That's why we're going to call it a subject question. Right? So that just apply for the double H who? Uh, yes and no. Yes and no. Because for example, there are some exceptions. For example, when we ask what happened, right? What happened? Oh, uh, what happened is that the situation, we, this is also considered a WH question, but this is what we call in grammar rules, exceptions, right? Exceptions. Okay. There are other questions like, how much, how much money do you have, right? Oh, how much, uh, how much time 
do you have left? Those are almost with the same structure, but we are not asking for the subject, right? So what we, what we want to do is to ask for a person, for who did the action in the sentence. That's why we call it the subject, right? Okay. Okay. So is it a little bit clear now? Yes. So okay. every double-edged question that doesn't have a subject, it is an object. Object. Yes. Okay. If you are not asking for the subject, then you are asking for the object. Okay. Because I can continue. Bernardo was in the party. Oh, what time did Bernardo arrive? Bernardo arrived at 5 p.m. At 5 p.m. is the object, right? Oh, why did Bernardo blah, blah, blah? And then we can continue, right? right. <laughs> okay, excellent, Bernardo. I like your questions. Very good. Any other question right now? Not teacher. No? Okay. okay, perfect. It's been a pleasure then, Bernardo. Have a beautiful rest of the night and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs>